Thanks to you, we made our way to the US of A, all in the name of Lost and Hungry. Because of your recommendations, we uncovered some incredible food, and now it's time for us to turn our experiences into recipes you can cook at home. This is our Chicago deep dish pizza. We tried some epic, authentic pizzas in the city, and this is a recipe that we've come up with based on what we experienced. And it's gonna start with strong bread flour. So white flour, 500 grams, gonna go into a mixer. I'm gonna knead up a dough. You can, of course, do it by hand. And then this is the easiest recipe ever because everything else gets dumped in. Dried yeast, oregano, chili flakes, and salt. Just make sure the salt stays separate from the yeast. Plus, a little bit of sugar. Then knead the whole thing up with 300 ml of warm water. That needs to knead up for a good five minutes until it's super elastic. -y. Do you like our, uh, our setting? Yes, yes I do. It's nice, isn't it? From what we've learned about a Chicago deep dish pizza is that it's got to have a crisp, buttery base that goes all the way up over the sides and loads of cheese. How do I know when it's done? So you want something that's really soft and elastic. And if we just work it off of here, and at this point we need to leave it to prove. So in a bowl, covered with a clean tea towel for about an hour in a warm place. This is a pretty warm place, so here is fine. Prove it. And while that's proving, we can make ourselves a tomato sauce. Seriously rich and tangy and tart, heavily reduced, oh, but absolutely best. delicious. <laughs> the water. You know too well. Very simple, oh. just take three cloves of garlic and sweat it down in olive oil, then add 100 ml of that wine in, reduce it down before adding tomato puree, tin tomatoes, salt and pepper, and bubble it away for about 15 minutes until it's reduced and really thick. We thought that pizza is the kind of thing that just represents Chicago you so could, well. If you get the opportunity to go to Chicago, you can't not have a Chicago pizza. I think Definitely. Ben also proved that you have to get a chocolate shake. Is it a chocolate shake you have to get <laughs> Yeah, from the wiener circle. <laughs> I was well and truly stitched up, literally. I was at the meetup, and they said, oh, you've got to get a Chicago dog at wiener circle. So I did. Naively, I, I did. A char dog. Though. I had a funny feeling there was something up, but I did not expect that. <laughs> When the red wine's reduced, add in the tomato puree and then a tin of tomatoes. Feels like beer weather. Or a nice ice cold, crisp white wine. Feels like beer weather. <laughs> <laughs> right, this is what you're looking for. Look at that. A much thicker, heavily reduced sauce. You want it to hold its form on the spoon and then transfer into another bowl, let it cool down. Our dough needs about another 20 more minutes of proving and then we can roll out some <laughs> pizza. Yeah, boy. And that is the perfect way to spend 20 minutes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, stretch. Cheers. Cheers, well, cheers, everybody. It got really hot, so we followed the shade, which was nearer the water. So basically, you're winning out because it's a better view. <laughs> and our dough has proved. Look at that. So all we need to do is just knock it back and then we're going to take half of this dough and roll it out on a floured surface. The ones we had in Chicago were all in battered up old deep dishes but we've gone for a cake tin and the tip I picked up was a little bit of butter just rubbed into it because you want that buttery, crispy, golden edge. And we also heard that what's amazing is a cheese crust. This is now Parmesan going kind of all around the outside. Now for the filling, we're gonna grab a really, really big chunk of mozzarella. And this is quite a firm mozzarella, one with kind of a low moisture content, because what you don't want to end up with, which is also why we've reduced our tomato sauce right down, is a soupy pizza. So, big slices, about thick, little finger, my little, thick, my little finger thickness. If you haven't got a bed in your <laughs> kitchen, then I would say that's about a centimeter. Yeah, just less than. This is going into the bottom of our pizza pan, like so. Now that's the firm kind of low moisture mozzarella. A little bit of some awesome fresh stuff on top as well. Now look at this. This is our tomato sauce, slightly cooled and it doesn't need much. And then one of the classic flavors in Chicago was the Italian sausage. So if you just squeeze the meat out and break it up. It should be pepperoni. Yeah. Well, if you like. If that's what you like, that's what, or chorizo, if that's what you want to put on it. Vegetarian. You'd go vegetarian. Yeah, I like this Italian sausage or a bit of mushroom on there would be nice. Barry, what would you have? Barbecue chicken. Really? Oh, that is yeah. controversial. Wow. What topping would you have on your pizza when you bake this? Comment below. Let us know. Talking of baking this, this needs to go into an oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 35 or 40 minutes. I can see where this is going. But that's what this needs. Oh, yeah. In the oven, mate. Why can't we have an oven down here? 
And that, gents, is yeah. a deep dish yes. pizza. That looks like a real one. It's been out the oven about five minutes to set up, which is the best time to now get in and try and transfer it to a plate. You should hold a look at that. It's going to hold its whole oh, form. Amazing. Oh, that look at it. is the crispy, buttery casing we're talking about. If you're liking the look of this Chicago deep dish pizza, give this video a thumbs up to let us know. Cheers. Oh, well, oh. Hold on, Mike. Cheers. That is so good. That is killer. You've got a really rich tomato sauce. That is great. If you want to see where we got the inspiration for this and our visit to Chicago, plus everywhere else we visited, go to sortedfood.com forward slash blog and follow the whole journey there. It's awesome and you should definitely check it out.